watching Mad TV. Mad TV presents The Club. Tonight's topic, Eddie. Hey, honey, did you hear about that whole transvestical thing? What transvestical thing, Cleo? I heard it on the news a while back. Talking about Eddie Murphy down on Santa Monica Boulevard messing with all them transvestites. That boy crazy. I'm gonna start calling them trigger nigga. <laughs> you know, those transvestites are just confused people. I just want to give them a big old hug. Just hug them all. <laughs> now, I'm gonna tell you something about them people. They may be all confused up there, but down there they got way more going on than the average gentleman. Woo! Oh, woman, ain't nobody asking you on there to have the opinion. You know what make me more? Them transsexuals. They got what you call the one-stop shopping down there. <laughs> oh, now you done put a picture in my head. How am I supposed to eat with this picture in my head? Now, Cletus, I done told you to stop messing with me. You say that again, I'm gonna come down there and give your ass a sex change free of charge, you fat little bastard. All the hell with you, woman. I'm talking about Eddie's nasty ass. We got all our kids seeing his movies, and they ain't down there messing with them tricky dickies. Oh, tricky dickies, tricky dickies. Hey, Xander, all I'm saying is the boy's a freak. I say if you want to be a freak, go on and say you're a freak. Don't be talking about you a freak, and you're not a freak. The man is married and got children and everything like that. I tell you what you really need to do, need to get a clean, healthy coating. I can't believe we have an intellectual conversation about Eddie Murphy and you go start with the wind. I'm not cleaning your pants if you have an accident. Hey, Eddie, name the tune. Well, you do that again, you'll be blowing out a new hole when I get through with you. Yeah, you take one more step near me, and I'm gonna bite your ear off, just like Mike Tyson, that pit bull bastard. You know, Cleo, you shouldn't be like that. You're just so prejudiced. You hate everybody. Mike Tyson's lovable. He just needs a big old hug. <laughs> oh, Mike Tyson? Mike Tyson looks like the back of somebody's ass. Don't you understand? Mike Tyson just confused. He got all them people around him that don't care about him, especially that Donald King. I'm gonna tell you something, Mike Tyson is sexy as hell. He got all them curvations and muscles rippling. He can take a nibble out of me anytime. As a matter of fact, he can come down here anytime he wants. <laughs> that bitch crazy than a dog in a hubcap factory. Kill You can't talk about my mama like that. I remember back in 1978. I met Muhammad Ali. He took me back in his dressing room. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. I bent over, you know what he gave to me. <laughs> sting like a bee, sting like a bee, sting like a bee. Oh, damn, woman. I just got them transsexuals out my head, and now you go filling it up with Muhammad Ali. And y'all missing my whole point. All I'm saying is Mike Tyson is exactly like a pit bull. He bite people, he ugly, and he hit women. Pit bull bastard. <laughs> I remember I had a little pit bull dog. You know, it was always on my leg trying to get some. And he had a look on his face like he was just saying, come on, I know you want it, come on. And I ain't even gonna lie to you, there were one or two nights where I thought about doing it. Well, Mama, you didn't even hear no doggy stories at the table. Uh, excuse me. I... You shut up. I swear that woman got more wind and hurt in my cooling after one of them three bean burritos. Please, we haven't even had dessert yet. Well, put some whipped cream on this. <laughs> hey, keep it down, bro. Huh? Oh, whatever the game is, you call yourself the artist formerly known. Hell, I'm gonna just call you confused. Look, everybody, it's confused. Confused, you got something to say? Well, I just wanted to know if I could get some more of this delicious chicken. Oh, you know, crazy. Everybody see Michael Jackson is better than you. But I'm gonna tell you something. I love you, because I think you're a person just all your own. <laughs> you know, why can you eat that chicken as sexy as oh, hell? Kind of remind me of one of them sexy movies I used to make. Matter of fact, I'm gonna make me a sexy movie right now. Uh, would, 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 would you like some more food, baby? Oh, uh, don't be giving confused no food. You don't know where them fingers been. <laughs> that was one of them silent but deadly ones. Just smell it. You know what? You people are nasty. And I don't mean in the good way. I just lost my appetite. needed to see that. He had on a pair of sexy pants. And I used to own a pair of sexy pants like that would drive everybody crazy, especially down at the bingo hall. The men loved it. Bingo. Damn, 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 woman. I ain't never gonna be able to eat again with that picture in my head. Please, I can't believe how disrespectful you was. You made our guests leave. We done lost Prince. Oh, purple rain, purple rain, purple rain, purple rain.